Good evening. Happy Friday, one and all. Now, I've always said that the one good thing about woke is that it contains within it the seeds of its own destruction. Enter stage left Imane Khalif, someone with some key genetic characteristics of a biological male pummeling a female boxer in the ring. If you thought that there is a war against women, their sex-based rights and their safety, look no further than a female athlete almost having her nose broken with the first right hook at the hands of, to all intents and purposes, a bloke. But what would you expect from these dreadful Olympics, the most right-on woke games ever? Having offended 2.6 billion Christians around the world with a piss take of the Last Supper and Jesus Christ replaced by an obese drag queen, the events in Paris have captured in a short few days everything that is going wrong in the Western world. Imane Khalif may have a complex backstory and genetic abnormalities. It's not an easy situation. But this is an individual with very high levels of testosterone and XY chromosomes and someone who in the past has failed a gender test to prove themselves a woman. But that doesn't bother the IOC. On their watch, she, her, gets to punch an actual biological woman in the name of sport. So how did that work out then? Well, the Italian female boxer Angela Carini had to withdraw from the match and relinquish her hopes of Olympic gold in less than a minute. That's right, her dream was gone in 60 seconds. She said that she'd never been hit so hard and the blows were so powerful, she literally feared for her life. But the numpty Olympic organizers, who would struggle to get you drunk in a brewery, were more concerned about fairness to Khalif, who identifies as a female. Of course she does. People are turning themselves inside out trying to explain this individual's gender. Well, the last time I checked a biology textbook, if you have high levels of testosterone and a masculine physique and XY chromosomes, at the very least, you are not a woman. And therefore, you have no place in the ring. Where is the safety for women? Where is the duty of care? Where is the fairness of an obvious physical advantage. People point out that Khalif fought in the Tokyo Olympics four years ago. Well, that was a mistake too. They say she lost, I don't care, two wrongs don't make a right. In the end, there are just two biological sexes, something the world and especially mad woke progressives captured by a bonkers ideology seem to have forgotten. But don't take my word for it, here is the world's most respected fertility expert, Dr. Robert Winston, speaking on the BBC Question Time show. Enjoy. I will, I will say this categorically, that you cannot change your sex. Your sex actually is there in every single cell in the body. You have a chromosomal sex, you have genetic sex, you have hormonal sex, you have all sorts of different kinds of psychological brain sex, they're all different. And we are very confused about this, unfortunately. Aren't we indeed? Hopefully the sheer madness of what is playing out at the Olympics will wake people up to the lunacy of this strange religion, this ungodly cult that says you can change your sex or identify by any number of genders or no genders based upon your mood that day. We are all punch drunk from listening to this nonsense. It's time to deliver a knockout blow to woke ideology. The gloves are off.